Hello, my name is Nazir Khan from the Faculty of Civil Engineering Technology. Welcome to all of you in Canada and for those international viewers, nice to have you with us too. Uh, this particular presentation is going to be on U substitution, integration by U substitution. And of course, before we do that, I am going to just review derivative and uh, integration so that uh, when we get to U substitution, uh, you understand the material. When we look at this function that I have on the screen here, and of course, uh, yeah, the function that I have on the screen here, um, we're going to take the derivative of this function. To take the derivative, this becomes dy dx. You multiply the term by the power and reduce the power by 1. The derivative of a constant is 0. So let's go and look at that. When we look at this, this y becomes dy dx. Right? The change in y in respect to the change in x, it's really a slope. I'm going to multiply by 2 right there and I'm going to reduce that power by 1. So 2 minus 1 will give you 1. You don't have to write the 1 there. It's understood that every variable have a power of 1 if it's not mentioned differently, if it's not stated differently. And of course, this becomes 0. Let's go to the next step. I'm going to clean this up. 3 times 2 is 6. x and that's it. Now I'm going to prepare it for taking the integral. You've got to take the dx over to the other side, bring it up to the numerator. I'm going to go and introduce uh, integral notation now and this is what it looks like. The integral of the y here will return it to y and the integral of x, we're going to take the coefficient of 6 outside, we're going to integrate the x. Okay, now this is a good point to remember. Derivative and integration, it is a inverse function of each other. If you take your calculator and you punch 30 degrees into it and you press sine, it gives you the ratio of the sides of a right triangle. And if you go inverse sine or arc sine, then you would go back to 30 degrees. And now that's what these two functions does. The derivative is right here. When I take the integral of that derivative, it takes me back to the function, the original function. Slight difference with uh, because we are using indefinite integrals, right? We're going to have to add a c to it. Let's go and uh, integrate this. Of course, dy becomes just y. And when you integrate this, what we did here, we reduced the power. So we're going to increase the power by 1 and then divide that we, we multiply by that uh, by that power, we're going to divide by that power here. And we have to remember to, to add the constant that disappeared here. We have to add that back, it comes in the form of c. If we had the values for x and y, we could solve for c, it would become minus 1. Let's go and uh, clean this up. I could see that 2 could go into 6 3 times, and I could uh, make that x squared, right? 3x squared plus c. Okay, so that is a review of taking the derivative and taking the integral of that particular derivative. And again, they are inverse function of each other. Let's go now to the u substitution part of this. When we have a power function, and that's what this is, you take uh, when you take the derivative of power function you're going to take the derivative of the outside and then the derivative of the inside of the function let's go and do that this becomes dy dx I'm going to multiply by 5 and reduce the power by 1 right there and then I'm going to go and take the derivative of the inside and multiply that the derivative of the inside will be 2x this becomes zero. So there we have the derivative of a power function. Now when I look at this, this part of it here, 5 times 5 is 25 times 2x will give you 50x. So let's clean that up and prepare it to take the uh, integral of it. Now we're going to use the technique of, um, of u substitution here because that's the technique that uh, will take away all of this and bring it back to 5, right? Because remember how we got that uh, 
this coefficient out here or this uh, this factor out here. 5 times 5 times 2x will give you that. When you're given a, a problem to be integrated, you won't be given this part of it. You'll be given this and say integrate it. Right? So you have to understand where it comes from. So let's go and use u substitution. I'm going to uh, designate this as u and then I'm going to take the derivative of that and then solve for for dx and then substitute them here and then I will integrate. Let's go and do that. Let u equals the inside of the bracket and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to take the derivative of this. It be just becomes 2x. So du dx, when I take the derivative of this, du dx is the notation, 2x is the derivative of this, the 2 disappears because it's a constant. You take the derivative of constant, because I want to substitute for dx, whatever comes out for dx, I'm going to solve this for dx. It's just a matter of taking the dx over there and bringing the 2x down here, and this is what you have. So we know that dx is equal to du divided by 2x, right? And we know that this binomial here is equal to u. So let's go and substitute u into here and dx into there and then see what's the next step. We have uh, dy is equal to 50. The, co the, the coefficient here stays the same, u to the fourth and I'm going to multiply by dx which is du divided by 2. Now that's an important step because you are dividing out the, the derivative. We took the derivative here and multiply so we're dividing out that de derivative. right? It becomes 25 u to the fourth. right? So just dividing out this into there, the x disappears because it becomes 1, 2 into 50 is 25 u to the fourth. Now we are in the form that we could actually put integral notation on this and perform the integration. Let's go and do that. There's the integral notation. Pull out the, co uh, the coefficient out front and the integral is there. And then we go and integrate. When you integrate dy, it just becomes y. And then we are going to add 1 to the power of u and divide by that new power. Add 1 to the power, divide by the power. This becomes 5, right? So this becomes, uh, let's clean this up. 5, we're going to substitute what we the binomial for there, right there, plus C. And again, I'm going to remind you, if we had the value for X and Y, we could solve for C, and C would equal to 0. So really, what we've done, take the integral of this, or we take the derivative of this, sorry, and then we took the integral of it and returned back to the original, right? So that's the, 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 the u substitution. Let's just do one more. Let's see what's, uh, what's going on with this stuff here. We have a function here, and it's a cube root. It's a cube root function. I'm going to write it as a power function. When you have a cube root, you could write it as a power function the power will be one-third. So now we are in the form that we could actually take the derivative of this. This part of it becomes dy dx and again with the power function we're gonna take the derivative of the outside and then take the derivative of the inside. So one-third times uh, nine really it's really three but when we subtract one from here we'll get minus two-thirds okay and that's a sticker point so be careful with it if you run into a problem like this and of course let's go and uh, do that dy dx I'm gonna multiply by one-third I'm gonna reduce the power by one so it becomes minus two-thirds and then I'm gonna go on the inside of it six times four it gives you 24 x to the fifth put it there the 2, the derivative of the constant, becomes 0. Right? So that's where it is. We know that this is 3 times 24 will give you 72 x to the fifth times the binomial. And that would uh, 72 x to the fifth times the binomial, which is 
4x to the 6 plus 2 raised to the minus 1 third or 2 thirds power dx. Now we are in the form that we could actually take the derivative, uh, the integral of this. Right? So we're going to go and put our integral notation. No, we are going to designate this first to, to u. We're going to designate this to u. Uh, the binomial in here is going to become uh, u. And we're going to take the derivative of that, which is 6 times 4 is 24x to the fifth. This becomes 0. And the u dx, 24x to the fifth. I'm going to solve it for, for x, for dx. When I solve it for dx, I'm just interchanging these two values. And you have dx is equal to du divided by 24x to the fifth. Okay, so that's, uh, that's where we're at. We are now going to go and substitute u for there and dx for there and clean this up a little bit before we do the integral of it. 72 u uh, x to the fifth u to the minus two thirds times dx which happens to be that that comes in the denominator you're going to divide that out it becomes three right so that's where, where it comes three here u to the minus two thirds du now we could go and put our uh, integral notation on this and take the integ integral of it integral notation it's an indefinite integral and of course uh, you take the coefficient outside and you integrate this part when we integrate dy it just becomes y when we integrate this we're gonna have to add 1 to the power and divide by that new power we're gonna divide by the new power so let's go and do that when we uh, integrate this it becomes y when we add 1 to uh, 2 minus 2 thirds it becomes 1 third right and then we're going to divide by uh, 1 third or multiply by the reciprocal which is 3 over 1 and that will give you the same thing that we have here this becomes 9 and you and can't forget uh, to put in plus C right so let's go and clean this up now and uh, what we have is 9, we're going to reintroduce the binomial for u to the one third power plus c and then I'm going to write it in its uh, general form. y is equal to 9, this is uh, when you have a fractional power it's really a root so I'm going to write it the cube root of the binomial of 4x to the 6 plus 2 plus c and that's all the root for u substitution. I hope that this video really helps you to understand the, the U substitution uh, procedure method and I hope that uh, you score well in whatever evaluation you do. Thank you. Bye-bye.